welcome back to another video in today's video we're checking out the philippines again i'm super excited so this video is by naz naz daily i think i remember some of his videos a wee while back he used to do like 60 second travel videos i think so this one is how the philippines fix tourism i'm intrigued um i'm not really sure about the story behind the fact that it was ever broken but i guess that means that the philippines did a good job on repairing whatever was wrong with their tourism <laughs> so we're gonna check out this video today you guys let me know what you guys think down below give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from the Philippines and without any further ado let's get into this video today okay tourists oh. did you know that tourists like oh my us gosh. can be a problem I'm sure see when thousands and thousands of like tourists go to one stuff, place right? they leave a lot of plastic trash there behind. they leave a lot of sewage oh, they destroy nature and interrupt true, wildlife true, just true. to get that selfie <laughs> It is true. We are tourists! We are tourists! It's called over-tourism, oh. and it's a real problem all over the world. So much that oceans can get too polluted to swim. This is what happened in the Philippines? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing For the first time ever, I want to show you how one country in Asia is fixing the over-tourism problem. Say hello to... <laughs> The Philippines. Oh, that's so it's cute. a beautiful country with over 7 oh, million look at tourists that. a year. But after some point, their nature started suffering. So oh. the Filipino people and the government decided to fix it. First, they put nature over money and closed down the bays and the beaches. Oh, that's like, that's a big move. They demolished that's buildings impressive. to make room for sand. Wow. And they cleaned the beaches here, here, and here. But this is not enough. Then they banned many plastic bottles, aluminum instead. They created a sewer system to drain the sewage. Wow, this is insane. Look, all this piping and this work is supposed <gasps> to turn wonderful. this beach from like a wasteland <gasps> into like an actual beach for people. This That's is exactly wonderful. what we need to support. Wow. They replaced diesel tricycles to electric ones. <laughs> this is so quiet. I love the electric. Yeah, they can't added even hear trash it. cans everywhere. They protected the corals from boats. This is awesome. They this limited is exactly the number what I love to say. And limited the number of tourists on the island so it doesn't get overcrowded. Wow. Then they reopened. This is how sustainable tourism wow, looks like. So clean beaches and clean nature to make these islands more fun forever. They went from this to this. Wow. Oh, back, back to how it's supposed to be. It's some big moves. The Philippines has a long way to go, but they're trying. And we tourists also need to try <gasps> facts, to take facts. nothing but photographs. It's true. Respect. Leave nothing but footprints Respect and the kill nothing but time. This good tourism is the future here in the Philippines wow, and everywhere in the world. <laughs> See you next week. Yeah. Oh, great. So this was uploaded in February 14th, 2020. Wait, this was this, wait, wasn't this right before COVID? Damn, what interesting timing that this video came up because obviously after COVID, a lot of tourism slowed down, but that's, that's besides the point because obviously COVID's not gonna last forever. And things like this, that I guess the Philippines government have put in place, this is big, big moves. And I'm honestly so impressed of this government taking charge and 
putting nature and our earth over money and also making sure there's a balance to it because because if there's too many tourists at one time there's gonna be nothing for the tourists to come to in 20 or 30 years so I think this is just genius this video is incredibly inspiring I'm not in the environmental sector the environment sector or a tourism sector at all but um, I think people all around the world in higher positions in the tourism industry should watch this video and learn about this situation because it really shows that it can be done. What it does show is that the, the people at the top need to be the one to roll this forward as a collective so everyone's on the same page and kind of roll these systems out together and then eventually it gets to a really balanced state where the tourism doesn't have to absolutely destroy the nature in your country. So it was, wow, wonderful. Obviously this is only a three minute video, so there's only so much, there's probably more to the story, right? But just seeing something like this is just really kind of a breath of fresh air. Is that a pun? I'm not sure, but it really is a breath of fresh air because over tourism is really sad I think especially for locals who 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 live in the area and if their land is getting absolutely destroyed it would be heartbreaking absolutely heartbreaking these people from all around the world coming to this area just destroying sorry there's a motorbike outside but just destroying the land and the the nature and the animals you were it was it just be honestly heartbreaking so I think um countries and cities islands who experience over tourism should definitely take action before it's too late these beautiful beaches beautiful areas in our beautiful world can only withstand so many people at one time for a certain amount of time you've got to balance it so yeah this is just impressive just i'm just so happy to hear that the Philippines took action. They saw there was a problem. They, they saw what was going to happen if they didn't make a decision and um, they did it. So let me know if there's anything more to the story. Obviously only three minute video, but I love what I see. Yes, winning, winning Philippines, winning. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video with me today, you guys. I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Again, leave any comments down below and also your video recommendations down below and subscribe to the channel for more content and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Stone cold with the flags from the squad and I'm smoking up a check.